Hey y'all, let's take a look at, at, ooh, advanced factoring. Advanced seems so unfriendly. Forget it, we're not doing that. Let's just call it like it is, friendly factoring. Okay, you know how to do this, right? Remember those trinomials? What's the answer to this thing? You need two numbers, right, that add up to negative 13 and the same two numbers multiply to give you a positive 42. So if you've got two numbers that add to a negative and they multiply to give you a positive, it's going to have to be two positive numbers, right? I'm excuse me, two negative numbers. So you know your factors. It's going to be x minus 6, x minus 7. That's the method, okay? Knowing that method is really helpful. I mean, that knocks out half of what we're going to do today because we're going to do things a little bit differently. So far, we have done trinomials where the lead coefficient is a 1 every single time. Now we're going to shift a little bit to where the lead coefficient is something other than 1. And for example, here's a trinomial. 6x squared minus x minus 2, okay? And there are, you know, uh, you can figure out how to factor this out with a certain type of x and a certain type of x and then numbers, just like we do with two, two binomials. We'll have two binomials on this one, the same exact thing, okay? I have good, uh, good, nicely streamlined instructions, so make sure in your notebook you write these. I have it really nice for you, okay? Here are the steps on how to do this, and so copy these down. Pause, of course, as you need to. All right, number one, you're just going to go 6 times negative 2 equals negative 12. In other words, you're going you're to use this example, okay? So you have this number, 6, times this number, negative 2, which gives you negative 12, all right? The second thing is you need to find what factors of negative 12 add to give you negative 1, which is this number right there, okay? What is the answer to that, by the way? What two factors of negative 12 add to give you negative 1? Negative 4 and positive 3, right? Okay, all right, just keep that in mind. Rewrite x in the middle, this thing, as step 2's numbers. Okay, we'll do that in a second, so pause and copy that. Four, group the first two, then group the second two, because you're going to have four terms at this point. In other words, you're not going to write a negative 1x, you're going to write two numbers, and I'll show you that in just a second. All right, last thing is factor and rewrite, and you got it. You're done. Okay, so let's actually go ahead through this process and do it. So, we have, of course, step one, 6 times 2 is negative 12. We got that. All right, what factors of 12 add to give you negative 1? Well, the answer is negative 4 and positive 3, right? We figured those out. So over here we go, okay, 6 times negative, oops, negative 2 is negative 12. Okay, what factors of negative 12 add up to give us negative 1? Oh, I got it, negative 4 and positive 3. That's what I'm going to be using. So what you'll do is you'll copy the part, first part of this, 6x squared. You'll copy the back end of this, negative 2. And instead of writing negative 1x, you're going to write a different way to write negative 1x, which is negative 4x and positive 3x. And it doesn't matter what order you write these in. You could put positive 3x first and then negative 4x second. Or you could do negative 4 first and then positive 3. It doesn't matter. But let's just go ahead and write it like this. So negative 4x and then plus 3x. Okay, see how that works? This here is the same as that there. It's the same exact thing. Step 4 is group. Look at your steps. Group the first two, then the second two. So you're going to group this. And if, if you want to go ahead and just physically write parentheses around them, you'll be fine. All right? Okay? Now we're going to factor. Factor. Okay? So let's factor what we can out of this. What can we factor out of 6x squared and 4x? What's the biggest thing we can factor? 2x, right? Okay. Well, 2x comes out. Then we factor. 6x squared divided by 2x is just 3x, right? Negative 4, that would be negative x divided by positive 2x is negative 2, right? Cool. All right. On this one, you know, there's really nothing you can do here. I mean, you can factor out a 1, you know, 3x minus 2. So you can just say plus a 1 and then 3x minus 2. Now you notice what's happened here. Look at this. You have twice a 3x minus 2 right there, right? So in other words, if you have, I don't know, Let's say you had 5 times 10 plus, you know, 3 times 10. Well, that's the same thing as 5 plus 3 times 10, right? 50 plus 30 is 80. That's the same thing. You're going to do exactly the same thing here. You're going to take this and this and treat it 
as if it's one binomial, and then you'll just repeat, I mean, excuse me, just write the three X minus two one time instead of writing it twice, and that's it, you got it, and this is the answer. There you go. Kind of a convoluted setup, but you know, it'll work. And by the way, let's just, for, just to show you, and you can skip this if you want to, but just to show you, if you wrote six X squared plus three X minus four X minus two, like this, instead of that, that doesn't matter. You could, you could factor this and then, you know, factor this. So you could go, okay, what goes into six and three? Three. Uh, x squared and x? X. Okay. You divide, you get, let's see, that'd be 2x, and then plus 3x divided by 3x is just 1, right? Then you could go, okay, well, you know, what goes into negative 4x and negative 2? Negative 2. All right. And you could go negative 4x divided by negative 2? Two, 2x. Negative 2 divided by negative 2? 1. Okay. Well, look, there's 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1. So we're just going to go 2x plus 1, and then times... 3x minus 2. And that's the same thing exactly what we got before. Except just a little different order. And we, of course it doesn't matter. 8 times 7, 7 times 8, same thing. Who cares? All right. Let's try another one. Copy that one down. Okay. Well, our step is 2 times negative 15, right? That's going to be negative 30. All right. My question is, uh, what are two factors of negative 30? If you need two numbers that multiply give you negative 30, they also add to give you negative 7. What are the two numbers? Negative 10 and 3, right? There are your two numbers. So let's just rewrite the negative 7x, not as negative 7x, but negative 10x and then plus 3x, right? So I, for no particular reason, I just did negative 10 first. So 2x squared minus 10x plus 3x, and then minus 15. That's the same thing as that is. We haven't changed anything. We've just written the negative 7x as negative 10x plus 3x, okay? Well, let's lump these things together like this, and just factor, right? 2 and 10, 2, right? That comes out. x squared and x, x comes out. So this one, we have an x here, and we have a minus 5, okay? There you go. And what goes into 3 and negative 15? We'll just call it 3. Right? Okay, you pull that out, you get an x, and you know, you'll not be surprised to learn you get a negative 5. Because this is also negative 5. Okay, and of course we got 2x plus 3, that's the first part. And the second part is x minus 5. And if you ever want to, make sure you're correct on a standardized test or a, I don't know, some college math class or something like that. We'll just go ahead and multiply those through and, you know, add the like terms and make sure you get this as your answer. And you should. Okay. All right. Really quickly, it's possible you're going to come across some of these where you have to kind of, all of a sudden, if you divide it, let's say, by negative 3, if it looked like you might need to divide by negative 3, you might get x plus 5 and go, wait a minute, that doesn't match. This is x plus 5. That's x minus 5. Well, then just divide by the negative counterpart to that so you make sure you get these two as exactly the same two binomials. Okay, let's try this one. Copy and, uh, or pause and copy. All right, this is a little goofed up here. This is in the wrong order, right? And also there's something missing, or here that was missing in the first two. What is it? Equal sign, right? So this is going to be an equation. You're not just going to factor. You're going to find answers for x by factoring and then setting this equal to zero. So let's get this in the correct order by moving that over. So we got 6x squared, we got minus 5x, we got minus 6, and we got 0. Okay. All right, well, we have 6 times negative 6, that's negative 36. All right, and we need two numbers that multiply to give us negative 36, and they also add to give us negative 5. What are they? You know, one's going to have to be negative, but one's going to have to be positive, right? Okay, because it multiplies to that. So two numbers that add up to negative 5 and multiply will be negative 9 and positive 4. Okay? So all we need to do is rewrite this middle term as a negative 9x plus 4x. So here we go. We got 6x squared. We got negative 9x. We got positive 4x. And again, you could have written positive 4x first and negative 9x after. It doesn't matter. And 9 equals 0. Okay? Well, let's lump or, you know, group, if you want to be technical about it. Okay, 
All right, six and nine, what goes into those? Three. X squared and X, X goes into. Okay, so six divided by three, two. X squared divided by X, X. Negative nine X divided by three X is negative three. All right, so let's do this one here. We've got uh, four X and negative six, well two goes into both of those. So we got two X and looky there, another two X minus three equals zero. Okay, so we have this and we have that, which gives us three X plus two times two X minus three, which equals zero. Okay, well, you know what to do now, right? You set both of those binomials equal to zero. So something times something is zero. One could be zero, the other one could be zero. So we have 3x plus 2 equals 0, and then 2x minus 3 equals 0. So 3x is equal to negative 2, which means x is equal to negative 2 thirds. And then we have 2x is equal to 3, which means x is 3 halves. Boom, there you go. Okay, all right. Let's try the practice problems, and then we will uh, call it a day. So pause it and try A. Oh boy, so both of these are gonna be equations where you solve. Okay, that calls for the color purple. Okay, so let's move this thing over. Uh, we have two x squared minus five x minus 12 equals zero. Okay, so we need two times negative 12, that's negative 24. And we need two numbers that add up to negative five that are factors of negative 24, which will be, of course, negative eight and positive three. That's what we want, okay. So let's go two x squared again. Instead of writing negative five x, we'll write negative eight x, and then positive three x and negative 12. Okay, so let's clump. All right, and we'll pull, let's see, two x, and it'll be two, and then it'll be the x. That pulls out, so that's gonna be an x minus four, which means you know what you're aiming for on the next one, right? It's going to, you need to get x minus four here. Okay, so three goes into both of these, and of course that'll be x minus four as well. So we have a two x plus three. All right, let's just go ahead and, you know, skip a step here, put it equal to zero. And then, oops, x minus four is equal to zero. So x is going to be negative three is over there, divided by two, there's one of your answers. And then, of course, x is also going to be 4. And there we go. Okay. That's it. All right. And, you know, of course, you know, of course, looking at this thing, you could also complete the square. You could also uh, um, use the quadratic formula to find this out. So it would actually work if you did it that way, too. All right. Go ahead and pause it and try B. All right. Let's move to an exciting color here. Oops. I lost my, there it is, okay. I'm just gonna keep the same color. All right, so we have three X squared. We got negative seven X, we got negative six, we got zero. Okay, so three times negative six is negative 18. All right, what two factors of negative 18 give, add to give us negative seven? Ah, I know what it is. It's gonna be negative nine X and positive two X. And then I'm gonna copy down again and clump. Boink. There we go. Okay, so we pull out a three, we pull out an X, we get X minus three, and then we pull out a two here, and of course we get another X minus three, that equals zero. Okay, so we get three X uh, plus two, in other words, this and this, that equals zero. Then we get an X minus three equals zero. Of course, that's an easy one. That's just gonna be three. And this will be 3x is equal to negative 2, which means you divide by 3, and that's your second answer. There you go. Okay. Get that system or method down, and then all these will be easy for you in the future. So, all right. See you guys next time. Have a good day.